Hi everyone, my name is Mary Coughlin. I'm a neonatal nurse practitioner and the president and founder of Caring Essentials Collaborative. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this concept of trauma-informed care in the neonatal intensive care unit and truthfully beyond. Um, the idea or the paradigm for trauma-informed care has its roots in behavioral health um, where the majority of individuals who suffer from uh, mental health conditions have a trauma history. Traumatic experiences, particularly during early life, change our biology. They change us um, at a genomic level. And, and now there's um, really interesting research that's exposing um, perturbations that are actually happening at the chromosome level as well in the setting of toxic stress and traumatic stress. Um, and shoot me an email. I'd be happy to share more um, with you on that. But back to uh, this idea of trauma-informed care. So um, a while back there was a study um, back in the 90s that looked at a correlation between adverse childhood experiences and adult morbidities. Um, and these adult morbidities um, include medical um, complications or medical conditions as well as psychopathological conditions as well, uh, also. Um, we are now learning that this concept of early life adversity also is implicated around prematurity. And there's just a, a a huge amount of research that's been done um, by a, a lot of uh, great researchers. Um, a group that I'm, I'm really interested in their work is uh, Monteroso and his team um, over in northern Italy um, where they're um, exploring methylation um, methylation activity that's happening um, around serotonin transporter genes and other types of things. They're, they're discovering stuff around the telomere um, where it's actually um, deteriorating and these are like the caps on the ends of the chromosome. So, um, and all of this is um, linked with exposure of the individual to toxic stress or traumatic events, tra uh, traumatic stress. Um, the, the idea that um, trauma-informed care is a biologically relevant paradigm for the newborn intensive care unit was introduced back in um, 2013 and then 2014 um, and is slowly um, be becoming embraced by our clinical colleagues, particularly in neonatology and pediatric intensive care because we know that this patient population is profoundly vulnerable and these experiences that they have, they're having, these life-threatening experiences, when they are unsupported by a caring adult, because that caring activity actually provides a buffering effect on the individual. When that is absent, then these individuals become overwhelmed by the stress experience, and it begins to set up this um, cascade of chronic inflammation, chronic activation of the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, and things along that line. The American Academy of Pediatrics actually put forth a really cool model now that um, reflects all of this uh, multidisciplinary science, um, and they call this framework called it's called the Eco Bio Developmental Framework that really defines pediatric medicine. And when you break it down, what they're saying is that the ecology of the developing human being, the physical ecology, but also the relational ecology, affects how this individual walks through stressful situations. They're either feeling supported or not supported. And either way, there is a biological influence that then impacts their ongoing development and then has a uh, lifelong effect over their health and wellness well beyond the neonatal period into adulthood as we're seeing now with a lot of this um, recent outcomes of former premature people but not just premature people um, individuals that um, are exposed to any kind of life-threatening situation warranting um, critical care, but even beyond. But of course, you know, our, our niche is um, healthcare and, and the critical care environment. So I hope this um, explains a little bit more to you about this idea of trauma-informed care. In a nutshell, it is, you know, traumatic experiences change our biology. So being trauma-informed, I understand that this experience, this traumatic situation is affecting you at the bi biological level and so I have an opportunity to mitigate, ameliorate and minimize ongoing trauma as you move through your illness and hopefully bring you to the other end with um, the least amount of adverse consequences. Okay?
All right. I hope to share some more information with you again. Sing out if you have any questions. It's mary at caringessentials.net. Take care and care well.